Well, as far as trips go, I mean, uh, this is, I think, the ninth foreign trip by Marcos in just over six months or the past seven months. I mean, he has been in Brussels. He has been in New York for the UN General Assembly. He was in Davos just the other month. And a few weeks before that, he was also in Beijing. But I would argue, uh, as you know, correctly pointed out in your preview of the bilateral relationship, I would argue that actually this is the most important and consequential foreign visit of President Marcos yet. Perhaps let's see what's going to happen in April when he's going to visit the White House also for an official visit or for a state visit. Now, as far as Japan is concerned, it's the most comprehensive strategic partner that the Philippines has. I mean, it's true that it's not a treaty ally of the Philippines, as in the United States. But if you look at Japan, it has both robust economic relationship with the Philippines. If you look at the past, not only one year, two years, three years, if you look at the past 20 years, Japan has been by far the most consequential economic partner, top source of aid, top source of infrastructure investment, and also top export destination for the Philippines over the past 20 years or so. And now in the past five years, we see also Japan emerging as a very important security partner, even if they're not our treaty ally. They have uh, helped our Philippine Coast Guard to get multi-role vessels. They have given radar systems to the Philippine Armed Forces. Mitsubishi also built uh, much more advanced radar systems. They gave us surveillance aircrafts. And now we're going to uh, look at the possibility of signing, not maybe this today or tomorrow, but in the near future, a reciprocal access agreement, similar to what Prime Minister Kishida signed with his British counterpart not long ago, and even potentially a status of forces agreement with Japan down the road that will put it at least at par with Australia, which has that kind of crucial uh, defense agreement. But at the very least, for now, we know that Japan is working on potentially making the Philippines the first recipient of a defense-related foreign aid. This is unprecedented in post-war Japan, and a lot of unprecedented things have happened in Japan's defense policy when it comes to the Philippines, including sending of a war uh, jet fighters to the Philippines for an exercises a few months ago and a few years ago for the first time, also sending off an armored vehicle to a foreign military exercise for the first time since the end of Second World War. It's a very special relationship.